instructor for the White Bear Lake Drumline, which is right here, present in front of you. This drumline is composed of incoming 9th through 12th graders who participate in instrumental music during the school day at White Bear Lake. Most students here are primarily percussionists, but many of them also play either a woodwind, brass, or string instrument. They rehearse and perform practically year-round, doing mostly parades over the summer, as well as football games in the fall, hockey and basketball games in the winter, and other community events throughout the year. This performance today is structured to be an inside scoop on what a day in the life of our group looks like. Perhaps the biggest thing we work on is our technique, ensuring we're drumming as ergonomically and efficiently as we can. We do this through what we call our warm-ups. Our first warm-up we're gonna play for you today is called eights. Eights essentially means eight eighth notes on each hand. While this warm-up is not maybe extremely challenging, it gives us a chance to kind of focus our minds, to listen to each other, and increase the speeds at which we can drum together. Without further ado, here is Eight on a Hand. to make our, more, our music more interesting by being able to vary the volume of our notes, um, playing very loudly as well as very softly. So an accent would be about 9 to 12 inches in height, about the top of what our range is dynamically, as well as our taps, bringing it down to about 3 or 4 inches to play nice and soft. Here is accent tap.
warm-up is titled Legato. In music, to play legato means to play smooth and connected. We do this through the movement of our bodies so that each note is as intentional and musical as it can be. Here is legato. you'll hear our warm-up called double beat. This exercise focuses on playing two notes at a time from one hand and acts as a stepping stone on our way to learning a drum roll. Our mallet players get a chance to work on our C blues scale as well as some chromatic notes. Here is double beat. warm-up is called Rolex, which allows us to practice our diddles, otherwise known as open rolls. Players must use their arm, wrist, and lots of finger movement to produce two notes on the drum from one motion from the hand. Our mallet players get a chance to play a scalar pattern derived from the famous xylophonist George Hamilton Green. We will play this exercise two times for you.
next we're going to move into the favorite part of my night, introducing each section individually. This will allow you um, to hear them on their own, really focus in on each aspect of the drum line. So first, we're going to hear from our cymbal players. This is perhaps our most visual instrument on the drum line. They can play rhythms together as well as splits to create faster, more intricate rhythms. Here's our cymbal section. direct your attention over here to our bass drum section. Sonically, the bass drummers are the lowest sounding part of our line. They can play rhythms in unison as well as split parts to make their sound more melodic. Here is our bass drum section. move on over here to our tenor section. This is perhaps my favorite instrument on the drum line. Similar to uh, the tom drums on a drum set, our tenor players carry five different drums of varying size, thus creating different pitches with their rhythms. Here is the tenor section. focus right in the center here with our snare drummers. Um, when you picture a drum line, chances are this is the first drum that comes to mind. These drums have two heads, a top head on which you play and a bottom head that's more resonant. Underneath the drum are little strands which are attached to the head that give the snare drum its characteristic buzzy sound. Here's our snare drummers. from our most melodic part of our drum line. This would be our mallet section over on the end here. We have bell players. Bells are those metal looking like instruments generally made of aluminum. And we also have xylophones on the end. These xylophones are made out of a synthetic material. And the way the keys are laid out are, is very similar to a piano and how a piano looks. Here is our mallet section.
a drum line requires discipline, a teamwork mindset, and motivation towards achieving excellence. Finally, you will get to hear what we do during parades. These are our parade tunes. You may have heard us at the Manitou Days Parade or the Oakdale Parade so far. And as we play these, in case you haven't noticed already, you might notice the drummer's feet will be moving up and down at the heels. This is kind of like our transitional way to make sure we can keep the beat and be prepared for when we step off to do some marching. All right. The first parade tune you'll hear is called Obvious. Just a hair slower, a little more funkier. This is the big shebang. Our features are snare drummers as well as our bass section with some splits. This is March Up. tune we'll play for you tonight is a tune called Phantasma. Mm -hmm. 